sunshine welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome if you're an existing subscriber welcome back today i am revisiting a video because not too long ago i did a video reviewing the steam pod but guess what they brought us a very exciting collaboration which is barbie barbie and steam pod have collaborated to create a another steam pod and me being me and loving Steampot and loving Barbie, I'm gonna tell you all about it. So if you wanna see my thoughts and how I go from this to this, keep watching. Okay, so let's go right into it. The box looks pink as one can be because duh, collaboration with Barbie and it's so pretty. It's a bit like a metallic pink, which is quite cool. And as you open it, See if I can show you. It says again Barbie and Steam Pod, and then you have this really pretty case for the Steam Pod. Let's remove it and throw it on the floor. <laughs> and this is how the case looks. I have opened this before, I haven't actually given it a go, but I have opened it because I just couldn't wait to see how it looked. Um, and let's see. It looks like this. It's obviously the same as the normal steam pod, but in pink. And you get the steam pod. Oops. And the little water thingy. And this limited edition steam pod gets Barbie's signature pink makeover, allowing us to create hair looks from wavy to straight and every dream in between. Steam Pod 3.0 integrates a water tank, rotative cord for hassle-free waves, and a built-in comb, which can be removed if you wish. And actually, I didn't realize, but this new Steam Pod uh, actually gives you 91% less damage, and you can achieve multiple looks with up to two times faster um, and two times smoother styling and I have to say the case that comes with the steam pod is absolutely beautiful the quality is amazing I'm super impressed okay let's get started curly hair don't care I washed it last night and let it dry naturally it just works really well for me it saves me time instead of just blow drying it straight away I like to do it the next day and it's just quicker. Um, to get it started, I've put some of my Brita water in here. Brita, if you don't know, it's a filtered uh, water. Uh, so I filled it with that filtered water. And then all we have to do is press these buttons here on the side, get it out, and then get to this little hole here. And by the way, you have to unscrew the little cap and insert the water like so. There we have it. Close it. Also close this one because it has happened that I <laughs> just drop it and then there's water everywhere. There's still more than half left. And then we go and insert it back once it clicks you know it's safe <laughs> and then to turn it on there's obviously a on and off button here i'm not sure if i can show you because it's in a tricky place uh, right here it will turn it on at 180 and then to bring the temperature up you keep pressing temperature until you get the temperature you want i want 210 and straight away, it starts making this noise. It reminds me of an iron, because I guess that's what an iron does as well when you have the water uh, in it. And basically, to know that it's ready to use, the little light inside, again, not sure if you can see, yeah, there. So, once the temperature stops blinking, you know it's ready to use. So I'm going to wait for it to warm up. Is it? Is that it? That was it. There you go. So it's warm now. The light is no longer blinking. Let's see. Where is it? There. 
the, the light is no longer blinking so we know it's ready to use. And before I go in with the steam pot, I do like to section my hair in really, really small sections because obviously my hair is really curly. Let me show you. Can you hear the steam pot in the background? Uh, yeah, so it's really, really, really curly. Um, so I wanted to get that beautiful sleek finish and if I do big sections it's not gonna happen so I go in and basically section it in small sections I'm gonna use a hair clip normal hair clip just to secure it over there and normally I go in with the steam pod uh, products but I'm actually recording from my office and the products are in my bedroom, my main bedroom. Uh, so I'm not going to go in because my fiance is having a fall and I don't want to disturb him. Uh, so I just grabbed this uh, heat protective sleek primer from Jerome Russell, BS styled. Never tried anything from this brand, uh, but I guess it's going to have to do. I found it on the, on the side because I have quite a lot of products that I have to try and this is one of them. So. Let's give it a go. I'm just gonna spray, it's brand new, so it will take a while. Spray a little bit into, oops, I sprayed it all over my face. That was fun. Um, and with my uh, Tangle Teaser brush, I'm just gonna brush it, make sure it's not tangled. And then I'm ready to go. And if you've never used the seam pod, uh, you might wanna know that you always need to follow this little arrow. So it's obviously, same to go down so once you get the hair you should have the arrows down if that makes sense and let's see how this works okay so this is the first pass not bad Let's go for a second pass. It really sounds like I'm ironing some clothes. I mean, this is not bad at all, is it? Obviously, there's still a bit of wave there, but I'm not mad about Let's it. Let's go on this side, making sure that the arrows are facing down. And I think it's worth mentioning that, you know, the steam pod does cause 78% less damage than other straighteners. And it also causes less color fade. As you can see, I have, I mean, it's not the best color right now because I haven't done my color in forever, but I have some color in my hair and having that, it's, it's quite useful because most straighteners do tend to, you know, damage your hair so much that you even lose some of the color and it fades, it's not cool, I'm not into it, so I really like that. And I remember uh, at my first video, I had a lot of questions about how easy it is to get to the roots. And I feel like throughout the hair is absolutely fine, similar to other straighteners. And the only place I struggle a little bit to get to you know, the roots really, really close up is my top of the hair. But to me, that's not a big issue because I can always just get the blow dry and go over a little bit in this area closest to my face. So, I mean, if I am causing less damage to my hair, there's less, you know, color fade. I am not too bothered about not being able to get extremely close to the root um, over here. But it obviously depends from case to case. It's very particular. I just prefer, you know, kind of having healthier hair and have to go maybe over this area with a blow dry than to get extremely close to the roots and have really damaged hair. So, you know, it really depends on what you, what you feel like, what you feel comfortable with. But to me, that is not a, a deal breaker at all and because I have colored hair and it's curly and it's frizzy you know to me the steam pod brings so much benefit because it helps me just maintain shiny healthy hair it also helps with humidity I feel like when I go in with a normal straightener 
and if I go out and it's a very humid day, my hair literally, like there's no point even using a straightener, it will just blow up and I'll look a bit ridiculous. Whereas with the steam pod, I'll go out on a humid day and I won't see such a difference to my hair. It will still keep its shape, which to me is so important. I remember um, a long time ago, but I was going to one of my first events as, a, as an influencer and I had used just a normal GHD uh, straightener and I looked beautiful before you know leaving the house and you know living in London it's super humid and the, the weather was crazy and I could just feel stepped out of the house and I was like oh my god this can either go really wrong or really wrong and it did I remember arriving at this event and it was a very intimate event um, and my hair was out of control oh my god I felt so uncomfortable and you know when you're not feeling uh, comfortable everything just oh the event just dragged I felt so conscious about my hair I even tried putting it up on a ponytail but because it was you know I got so much humidity in my hair all of this was just like huge and oh, terrible so to me having a straightener that helps me with you know keeping that frizz and the, the effect that humidity has to my hair down is no comments i'm in i'm i'm yeah i'm all over it <laughs> so far maybe it's just in my head but i'm really liking this straightener maybe more than the original it probably has no difference you guys but because it's pink it has magical powers <laughs> let me um fast forward all of this i'm still gonna do it in a way that you can see what's going on and how effective it is but i'm gonna fast forward and then towards the end i'm going to answer some questions i got on my previous video about the straightener about my hair about my experience so stay tuned don't go anywhere there'll be a lot of clarification towards the end so many questions about how well it goes to the root I just wanted to show you what I do to make sure I don't have any weird waves from my curls um, which is with a straightener I basically get the parts that I'm not 100% happy with which to be fair with all straighteners I've ever used I have to go over many times to get it to a nice um, smooth <laughs> finish and I get the straightener and I basically get that small section of hair make sure I get really close to the root and I go back and forth tends to be two and I get that 
smooth finish. So I don't think it's any different than any other straightener I've ever used, even uh, GHD. I do the same thing, which is always go back to the front. And just brush it out to make sure I get the smooth finish. Can you, can you see how healthy my hair looks? Bearing in mind it's colored, bearing in mind it's very damaged. It just looks very smooth and it just gives me salon finish vibes. I hope you can see how soft and how beautiful the movement is. I personally really like it. Let me zoom out so you can see the whole hair. Obviously, I don't have a whole lot of hair. I have no hair extensions. So this is my natural hair. Um, and I just, I really like the finish. I think it also takes care of my hair. It doesn't damage it as much as other straighteners. Uh, it takes me the same amount of time to uh, straighten it than other straighteners. I wouldn't say it's quicker, no slower. Um, and what I really like about this straightener is the beautiful finish it gives me when I do a little bit of a turn. Let me show you. This is what I really like doing. I get all of the hair up to one side and only go over the ends and just give it a little twirl. And it just gives me that beautiful, smooth, inwards. Uh, turn that I really like. Same thing on the other side. Get it from halfway. Do a little turn. And it just, it's so beautiful. I love the finish. And obviously if you want to curl your hair with the steam pod, that's 100% possible. Um, I've actually never tried curling my hair with it. I wonder if we should try but maybe on a different video. I think this would be a bit too long. Uh, but if you want me to try and curl my hair with a steam pod, let me know down below. And I just really love the finish. It just feels so healthy. It gives that salon finish. And I know that it hasn't damaged my hair as much as other straighteners, which I really like. It just gives me, it's seriously, this is a salon finish, blow dry vibe to me. That's what I get when I go to the salon. And I'm very happy. So to me, it is worth it 100%. I know it is a little bit of a expensive tool, but if like me, you tend to put heat on your hair on a daily basis, this is such a good option because it does make sure that you are um, protecting your hair more and also how cute it is, it's pink. I mean, how can you resist something that is pink? Jokes, don't buy it because it's pink. But I do really, really, really think it's adorable. I used to love Barbie as a kid. I was so obsessed with it. And I remember my mom, poor thing, uh, she was a single mom, so she couldn't be buying Barbies here and there. So I remember I just loved my time with Barbie. And it means something, I'm still a girl, I'm girly. And I just love that it was a collaboration with Barbie. And like I promised, I'm gonna be answering some of your questions that you left on my previous video. Uh, I'm gonna put this one away, turn it off. Otherwise it's gonna be making this beautiful noise throughout. Uh, but I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so as promised, I'm gonna be answering some of your questions from my previous Steam Pod video. And to start, we have a question from Lester Harris. She's asking me, don't you like your natural curls? Such an interesting question because I used to have the most beautiful curly hair when I was younger. I'm gonna see if I can put a photo here somewhere. And seriously, I look back and I'm like, oh my God, what happened to my hair? Um, if I had that hair, still up to date, I think I would wear it non-stop. But because from a young age, I started doing a bit too much to my hair, meaning, you know, the keratin when it was like right in the beginning, which damaged my hair completely. My curls were never the same since I did that treatment. Uh, so that's, it started it there. Um, and then I started dyeing my hair blonde, which also is not great news for, you know, 
your hair and I just find myself in a place where my hair doesn't necessarily look beautiful when it's curly um, and because I spent my whole life trying to have straight hair I haven't really learned how to make the most of my curls um, and I think that's why I don't wear it curly as much it doesn't mean that I don't love it, it just means that I don't know how to make the most of my curls to make it look beautiful and put together. But that's something I really want to embrace this year, just embrace my curly hair and try and wear it curly more often. But the quickest answer to that question is I love my curly hair, but I don't know how to make the most of it. But I will and I'll share all my findings with you, I promise. Uh, on to the next question. Cha in the building, hey girl, uh, how often do you use the straightener and did you experience any curl damage? Uh, I wash my hair once a week because my hair is curly um, and I don't necessarily have the time or energy to be straightening it on a daily basis. So I use the straightener once a week um, and I tend to do the same thing I showed you. I wash it and then go to bed with it fairly wet and in the morning I go in with a steam pod so once a week um, and no I haven't noticed any curl damage I'd say that it's my curls have been the healthiest it's been in years um, I do really see the difference of the steam pod comparing to other straighteners I do feel like it, it doesn't damage my hair as much as other straighteners um, I'd say there's very very little damage especially because I only use it once a week um, so no, I do not experience any damage to my hair. It's probably the healthiest it's been forever. Um, and I guess it's going to help me just, you know, transition to that stage where I just want to let my curls out and be the healthiest it's been. On to a question from Dalal Dooley, uh, and they're asking me, can you please tell me where your steam pod is made? in is it china or france so it says made in europe and china so you know that's interesting it's made in both i guess some bits were made in china some bits were made in europe there you go and louisa she says hey is it also hard for you to get the heat plates together they just need some pressure otherwise they just won't touch my hair could you please check if yours has that too? Yes, you do have to put some pressure into the place. If you just kind of like put a light pressure, nothing's gonna happen, um, which I think is okay. To me, it's not an issue. Uh, I don't mind putting in the pressure. I always did with other straighteners as well, mainly because my hair is curly. So if I don't put any pressure, nothing really happens. So yes, I do put pressure onto the plates too. And Jasmine is asking me, does the flat iron get hot or is it just used when the steam comes out? It does get hot. Yeah, I think it does. I'm gonna have to check that. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like once you turn it on, it should get hot. Otherwise, yeah, I would say it gets hot too. Can I come back to that? I'll, 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 I'll test that out and let you know. But I would say most likely it gets hot. And Alia is asking, can you use bottled tap water? Um, I personally started out using tap water and then I quickly uh, got told that I should not because that's just going to block the steam pod. Uh, so I've started using my uh, filtered water. I have a Brita filter. Uh, so I put my water through the filter and once it's filtered, I fill out the little bottle and use it in my steam pod. Because it's filtered, I'd say it's okay but if you know something i don't let me know down below but i use filter water on to a question from merve will mass probably butchered that name i'm so sorry if i have uh and the question is i have heard some comments like it's hard to straighten root parts how was your experience i went a little bit into this throughout the video which yes this area here is not perfect with a steam pod if you just do the normal you know go over it what i do is and i showed um in this video if you go back a little bit is i section the area like so and go over it maybe two three times until i get the finish i like and you can tell 
like it's pretty straight there's no waves there's um nothing different than other straighteners uh give me and if you do feel like you still need uh extra uh, power in your roots you can always go in with a brush not a normal brush like a, a blow dry brush with your uh, blow dryer and just go over these areas it will smooth it out in literally 30 seconds um, and I do feel like even though it is not perfect for you know my front uh, hairline area it's still my favorite one because it's protecting my hair so to me this is you know and this is a good finish to me i don't have to go in at all i feel like this is pretty good so you depending on how curly your hair is that might be a different experience but for my type of curls it works perfectly all i have to do is when i'm done i'll go over this area again maybe two or three you know passes but i do that with any other straightener so to me it's not really an issue but it depends every person has a different experience and you know all our hair is different so i guess give it a go do what i do which is you know towards the end do a few other passes and if that's not really working for you maybe just blow dry it just that you know um specific area and I think that should solve that issue. If not, let me know what you're buying. I'd like to try it too. On to the last question from Margaret. She says, great demonstration. Thank you, girl. Uh, just wonder if you have any hair products. For example, hair protector. Yes. I. The only thing is I try many different products because of what I do. I like trying new products so I can share my thoughts with you. But I would say that my favorite one to use with the steam pod has to be the uh, L'Oreal Steam Pod Activated Cream Serum. It is obviously made to be used with the hair tool. So obviously it's gonna work really well. But I would say any heat protector will do. Just don't forget to put it because you know, every little helps. Adding that extra layer will make your hair be even more protected. Um, but I would say any heat protector will do. My favorite is the one made for the steam pod. I'm gonna put it down below here. And the one I used today as well, which to be fair, made my hair really light depending on the heat protector, my hair gets really, really heavy, maybe because it's curly, just sometimes it doesn't sit well. And this one, where is it? This one has actually worked really well. Like I said, it's my first time trying it and so far so good. Uh, it's also supposed to be with anti-humidity properties and it's up to 230 degrees. Uh, what else do we have here? It is bond building technology, cruelty free, 100% vegan, gluten free, sulfate and paraben free, recyclable bottle and label. Ooh, we like it, sustainable. It's onto the approved products. And before I go, I just want to read some highlights from the product. It says instant hair transformation, two times smoother, two times faster, um, fiber preservation use after use, long-lasting hairstyles, less breakage, velvet-like effect. I totally agree with that. Um, natural flow and softer hair with steam pod, whatever the hair type. Obviously I have curly, but I've seen the results on straight hair and it's really good too. And this goodie has double technology plates. It's high resistance anodized coating and floating plates, structure for uniform yet respectful pressure all over the hair and it has intelligent uh, heat control it has three heat settings from 180 to 210 i use 210 because i just i'm an anxious child i i i, I just want it faster so i go all out and this is new it has 14 percent thinner and 37 percent lighter design versus the steam pod 2.0 uh, for improved comfort. I did feel like this one was, I don't know, there's something improved for sure. I felt like it was quicker. It was, uh, yes, lighter. And also I remember with the Steam Pods 2.0, I felt like I had to go through the hair many more times than I did with this one. This one, like one was 
good. Two was perfect, whereas the old steam pot, maybe I had to go three times towards the four if I really wanted that perfect velvet finish. So yeah, I have to say, I think that is true. And when it comes to any downside, I must say I don't have any apart from if you you know, analyze the price point, it would be nice for it to be maybe cordless. Uh, but to me, that's not an issue. So I don't mind it. But I know that some of you may be comparing it with a Dyson. I've never tried Dyson, but obviously it is cordless and you can kind of take it with you uh, wherever, whereas the steam pod doesn't. But it really depends on what you're looking for. I don't think it's a huge deal because my experience with cordless items has never been that great so i'm just sticking to the old school vibe you know but that is it for today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and let me know if you have any questions any requests what you know whatever let's let's get chatting i'd love to hear from you but until next time bye